Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alahane the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So here you see I'm with pretty much every collab I do. The person's taller than me, so I hope he's in there. Uh, here I am. Hey, so listen guys, just wanna break in here real quick. Uh, that was a terrible intro. I'm so sorry about that. Let me just explain a couple things. The first of all is, I'm not really used to collabing with other people, so I'm not good at understanding how to question them or go back and forth or get their input and that kind of thing. Secondly, obviously Cletus McFarland, his name is Garrett, okay, but I kept with the name Cletus because that's what he goes by on YouTube, but Garrett is like elite. He's probably the biggest YouTuber in our area, and so I was a little starstruck, if I'm honest. And then third, I was really super stressed about what we were about to undertake. This is 102,000 square feet. So it was a lot and I was just, man, I wanted to make sure it all came together because all of this was riding on me because I'm the one that put my name reputation on the line, not only with him, but with all of these sponsors. So with that, please forgive me for not having the best intro. Also, you know, he is 10 foot tall and I'm only four foot tall, which does give us six foot of separation. But other than that, everything went really well. And you'll see, once we got towards the end, we got to know each other a little bit better. I felt a lot more comfortable with him. And he is a super cool dude. As cool as he is, as nice as he seems on his videos, he is just like that, if not better in person. And with that, let's get right back to the video. So, but here I am with Cletus McFarland. Thank you so much, Cletus, for allowing me to come out and work on your infield. We got a Man, huge, thank you. we have a huge crew here today and they have really stepped up. I wanna just thank all of our sponsors just real quick. I wanna thank Scott's company. This is Scott's Pro Vista St. Augustine grass going down. Bethel Farms out of Arcadia. Those two work together to get us this awesome grass. It's gonna be the best infield in Florida as far as I'm concerned. Green County Fertilizer, donating all the fertilizer. And then Greenscape Innovations out here doing all of the labor, putting this in for us. And and then of course my company Yard Mastery also contributing. So thanks a lot for all of you guys for stepping up and supporting us YouTubers. That means a lot to me and thank you very much for supporting our community. Uh, you guys have done a lot here um, yeah. and, and I mean I've seen it take place overall but what's the what's the final plan here we, after we get the sod in? What's left? So once the sod's in we just gotta do a burnout. You know, <laughs> maybe tear up some grass. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So we've been working for the last couple of weeks uh, under the radar doing this asphalt and then pouring basically the country's coolest burnout pad and it's been a crazy operation we've been working with a, a team from 316 speeds what they go by and they own bp construction group so they've been doing all the dirt work and stuff helping us with that we just literally poured the pad a day ago finished that up and uh now we're ready to put some grass in here and make it look beautiful that's where you come in. That's awesome. That's what we need. That's the finishing touch. A lot of asphalt here, a lot of concrete. It's going to be beautiful, surrounded by green grass. We'll see y'all in the lawn. So I figure I'd take an opportunity while everyone else is working to lay here in this beautiful grass. What's cool about this is it comes in such fat stacks. It's just ready to go. I mean, it feels like it's just going to root. Like it just can't wait to root. And so uh, we'll have to see how fast we can get this going, but we're gonna put some uh, starter fur on and uh, keep the sea kelp in, keep it watered. They actually have a fire truck <laughs> they're gonna be able to water this with, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So can I teach you something about this grass? Yeah, you know? yeah. So the, gro the growth habit on this, it grows by what are called stolons. And this is a stolon. If you've ever seen like St. Augustine grass, you'll see it creeping out over the sidewalk. Yeah. That's our stolons. And what they do is it sends these out and every time it gets a new node, it pushes up new grass blades. So it's a self-repairing grass. Yeah. So as you guys skid through this over time, it'll close up on its own as sending out more stolons. That's perfect. That's the idea. This is the little tire track. Give it some time. And... Give it a little time. <laughs> awesome. Man. All right, y'all, so the reason that I chose the Scotts Pro Vista St. Augustine is mainly because of the low mowing. You guys know I've been working with this for about two years now, and it's no joke. You really only have to cut it once every two weeks, and that's gonna be important for these guys because while I do know that Garrett likes to enjoy the mow, they don't wanna to have to be out here every three or four days in the middle of the rainy season cutting grass. So that's a huge advantage to them. Of course, they love the deeper, darker blue green color that I keep mentioning, and also because it's glyphosate tolerant, I can keep it clean going forward. And by the way, speaking of keeping it clean going forward, you're gonna see here I applied starter fertilizer. That's the green pop from Green County Fertilizer, 21% phosphorus, which is just gonna help that grass to root in quick. It's also got the sea kelp in there and humic acid to start improving the soil immediately. 
Okay, so one thing a lot of folks will ask, once their sod is laid, what's the aftercare? So essentially what you wanna do, it's gonna take about 10 to 12 days for the sod to start taking root. And you'll know that because you won't be able to pull it up anymore. You can see I can easily pull this up right now. And obviously that's because it hasn't rooted yet. But for the first 10 to 12 days, even the first 14 days, you essentially wanna keep it constantly wet during all of the day. And then you can let it kind of rest at night, even maybe into the morning. But that, that may be required for some of you, you may have to water twice a day, some people four or five times a day. We're obviously surrounded by a lot of asphalt and concrete, so it's gonna be really hot in here. We're in the dry season right now. We do have a little cloud cover, which has been a, a, a nice welcome blessing because if we didn't have cloud cover, we'd require more water. The other thing is the soil here is very sandy. If you have more of a clay soil, that's gonna retain water a little bit better, whereas sandy soil is gonna drain faster. So all of those are factors, and what you wanna do is after a watering cycle or session is you wanna pull up the sod and just feel underneath. And if it feels wet, you can see we're wet here because we just finished watering. As long as it's wet, it doesn't need to be puddling. In fact, you don't want it to be puddling. You don't want it to be squishy. You don't want to <coughs> in here. You don't want any of that. But you just want to lift up and feel if it's wet. Now, obviously, once you get to that 10, 12 day mark and you start having roots, you won't have to do that anymore, but you should be able to figure out a pattern. Now here, we're gonna have to move irrigation around. They have a fire truck, so they're gonna be watering with. So we have a lot of different situation here, but for a residential situation, that's what you wanna do. Keep it wet during most of the day and after a watering session, feel underneath to feel that it's wet. Now, the next thing is once you get past that 10 to 12 day mark and you're rooted, then you wanna switch off and you wanna do your, your watering a little more deep and infrequent and the reason is is because once it's rooted in we want those roots to start pushing down so you're going to want to water deeper where the water will go deep and then let it dry out in between now we don't want it to dry out to the point where the sod you know is sick and sick looking or drought droughted out and, and you've seen that i've showed you already in this video what does saint augustine grass look like when it's need of, in need of water is those blades will fold up see how this one here it's you know it's been rolled so it's flat and that's fine it's not gonna it'll come back but it just needs some water see how some of the blades are starting to fold up already see when you see that's any saint augustine but especially sod that has no root system when you see the blades starting to fold up like that that means it needs water and i'm going to take you over here to where i already started watering and you'll see it's already perked right back up so that's why i'm waiting for these guys to get back we can use that fire truck we're going to definitely need to hose this thing down pretty quick but can you just see the difference in the color over here just where the water's been hitting it's only been on for five minutes and it's already starting to perk up so that's the thing we just need to get some water on this uh again it's it's not going to die or anything but I, I just don't want to stress it any more than i have to i'd rather give it a much easier life right from the get-go and that's pretty much all grass types so you know that 14 15 all the way up to day like 30 maybe you gotta water once a day maybe twice a day but it's okay to let it dry out a little bit in between as long as it's not starting to look that steely gray blue color and you don't see the grass blades folded over now another thing you want to watch for are hot zones and obviously we have a concrete pad here so this is going to create a hot zone you know heat this heats up and heat will radiate in and i don't know if you can even see but the sod along here is a little bit folded over and that's just because this is a hot zone so that's one of those things that you definitely want to pay attention to and even once you get into that 28 day 30 day your edges may need a little bit more water than the middle so these are all things that you want to be observant of learn your land learn your new sod and i'm telling you if you think it needs water it probably does and if you're on the grass and it's sloshing <laughs> It probably doesn't. It's okay to trust your gut. I promise you, if you keep watching it, you keep an eye on it, and you're observant, you're gonna come out just fine. How soft do you want it? That's good enough for now, and then I'm gonna see if it went through or not. I'll put my finger under it. But for now, let's just get it wet like this. This is literally the def this is literally what we call spraying and praying. <laughs> and you can adjust that if you spin the cone there. Yeah, you can go more to a fog or more to a jet. Whatever you prefer. We got a, a bunch, it's 500 gallons, so take your time. Lead us with that good hose management. <laughs> You're a natural. 
sure you don't want to just give all this racing up and just become a lawn care Dude, guy? I can be a firefighter or a lawn care guy. I would like to thank all of my sponsors here who are really the ones that made this happen. Scott's, thank you so much. You guys came through for me in a time when a lot of things are tough to get done right now. I wanna thank the folks at Scott's for coming through and helping out by getting us this sod as well as Bethel Farms. You guys are a rock. Thank you so much for growing this beautiful sod, but then also for your huge contribution of this actual grass to the track. Mike and the Greenscape Innovations crew, thanks a lot to you guys. You guys got it done and you got it done right and you got it done fast. So thank you so much for all of your hard work. And then of course, Green County Fertilizer, you're gonna be seeing going forward as I take care of the track here and keep spraying and praying out there, keeping everything looking good. I'm gonna be using all liquid products from the Green County line. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. hold it. <laughs> all right. Look at that, huh? Yeah, there you go. He's got, so hey, I got a celebrity using my camera. So. <laughs> You're a celebrity, come yeah. on. Cletus, thank you so much though, man, for allowing me to be a part oh, of this. Man. This has been just so much fun for me and, and just incredible, so. We had a good time. We I wanna thank, time. we did, and I wanna thank you for allowing a smaller YouTuber like me to come into your oh, world man. temporarily. That, and, that don't matter much to me though, seriously, thank you. Yeah, hey, but, don't mess up the grass. Don't worry, he'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously, thanks, man. I wanted to say one thing, guys. I found out Cletus likes to enjoy the mow at his house. Oh, I love the mow. See? So yeah. he's a lawn care nut. People have seen on my story and stuff that I usually post a, a kit, post a pic when I go mowing. Just like, we mow at the house all the time. We got the same mower that we have here, so we ride a 72 JD. And it's just nice to ride out, man. All right, I got one last request for you. So one of the things we do when people ask in our our community they'll say hey what what fertilizer should i throw down when should i throw down fertilizer how often and i always just yeah. say throw her down boys and hope <laughs> for the best so can you give us a throw her down boys throw her down boys yeah <laughs> hey man well thank you thank so you, much brother. i appreciate it's it it's been amazing he crushed it i mean he came to me and, and single-handedly brought all this together and it's uh it's been awesome so shout, shout out to alan and uh there you go bro it's thanks. your video you close her out thanks guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you learned something and as always i'll see you in the lawn one last favor i want to ask and this is of my audience and the new audience a lot of new folks are coming over saying thank you for working with cletus and i really appreciate that you guys are a lot like my audience and a lot of you already are my audience but you guys really understand what it's like when these companies support us YouTubers and you're very supportive of them. So I'm going to link all of the sponsors below. I'll link like their social media and stuff. If you guys can go leave them all some nice comments also saying thank you so much for sponsoring. That would really mean a lot to me and would also help as we do more projects like this in the future. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I'll see you in the lawn. I don't even do CrossFit. Oh. I've always had respect for firemen because my dad's one, but I've never had to respect what a fireman does in this manner. And uh, for sure, when it comes to this type of hose, my hose management skills are terrible. But then again, I'm a guy that leaves my garden hose stretched out across my sidewalks 24-7 anyway, so why would I be any different here? Look at that! Fits like a glove! And I was really trying to get out of doing any kind of real work today. Pull a trivia, Alice! They have no idea. I think they're annoyed with the YouTube guy that is going around filming them all day when they're trying to work. <laughs> <laughs>